It's been about two years since I first introduced you to this guy here, the Fantic X8 tire inflator. Awesome little tool that I absolutely love, but they just came out with a new version, the X9 Ultra, and this thing promises a whole lot more than that one. So Fantic actually sent this out to me. They saw my original video on this one. They said, hey, we're coming out with a new unit. Here it is. So they sent it to me to test out, and so far I'm absolutely blown away by it. I love the thing. Now Fantic also gave me a coupon code to share with you guys for the launch of this new one. Um, it's just, I, I can't remember exactly what it is. I will have it linked down in the description for you guys so you can see it there, um, but it saves you 28%, essentially 70 bucks. So this thing's normally about 250. Saves you about $70 down to 180 for this tool. So just to share some of the specs on this thing, they made this a larger unit for the larger vehicles, right? Your trucks, your full-size trucks, vans, all that kind of stuff, cyber trucks, all that good stuff. They advertise six times faster for, for pickups and the larger tires. 95 watt total output. Again, guys, this thing is not only a tire inflator, but also a uh, backup, you know, battery storage. So you can charge your devices and all that kind of good stuff. And then it also comes with a 2000 lumen flashlight. And there's a couple of different modes to that as well. But let's go ahead and unbox this thing and then we'll get into testing it and see exactly how it performs. All right guys, so here it is, the Fantic X9 Ultra 3-in-1, right? So we're gonna get into that shortly, but let's go ahead and pop this thing open and see exactly what it comes with. So as you can see guys, the packaging, like before, is great. It's, it's almost like, you know, ordering a, an Apple product. All right, so first things first, right on the side here, a little instruction manual and all that kind of good stuff. It looks like that's pretty much it, and we're just gonna slide the rest of it out. I'm just gonna flip it over. Actually flip it back over again. All right, so on one side we have this little box here. As you can see, I'm assuming this is just gonna be our charging cord. So there you go. And then we'll go ahead and open this up. Toss these to the side and open this up as well. And as you guys can see, this unit is substantially larger than the previous one which um, again, they built this with a higher capacity so you could, it would work on larger tires easier. So there's the unit. We do have a little protective screen on top. We're just gonna go ahead and pull that off. So as you can see, you have nice little rubberized feet on the bottom, which are super nice. You have your cord here. Um, this is gonna be for your uh, uh, tire pressure gauge, right? So this will actually, let me try and get this thing out. There we go. So let's see how long this is. So it stays in. Then it actually just fits in this little spot so you can actually lay it down nicely. Let's go ahead and measure, actually, here, this, the tabletop of this thing. Let's just grab a measuring tape. Okay, so I got two things. I got the previous Fantic uh, tire inflator, which, again, this one I absolutely love as well. Really nice and compact, which is nice. But if you see the, uh, actual, the actual cord to run to where you plug, in, plug it in to uh, inflate your tires is quite short. Hasn't been an issue for me, not at all, um, but it is nice that you get this extra long one, especially if you're working on you know, larger tires or whatever that have a larger diameter, it'd be really nice to be able to fit it. So let's go ahead and measure this. We're gonna call it, it's just slightly over, but 46 inches. All right guys, now another added benefit of this thing is they state that this one is six times faster at inflating tires, especially large tires like this, right? Compared to the previous model. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing on, you just hold the power button for, I think it's like three seconds. It'll fire on, gives you all these little uh, readouts there, and then it tells you the PSI range um, that it's currently set to, meaning if I turn it on, it'll make the tire go up to that, that PSI range. Um, I don't know what my tires are currently at. I think 40 PSI, I think, is what I'm running in these. Let me go ahead and check that really quickly, and another awesome thing about this is it's so precise, I can actually take the unit, right? Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm going to screw it onto the valve here, and the back pressure is gonna tell me exactly what the PSI is of my tires currently. So it looks like we're at 39. I think I typically run 40, I think. But in order to test the speed on this thing, let's take it down to, I don't know, I'm just gonna let a bunch of air out, and then um, we'll go from there. All right guys, let's go ahead and see what we're at. So I'm gonna plug this back in. Let the back pressure tell me exactly what the PSI of my tire is now. Yeah, so we dropped. <laughs> We're all the way down to 26 PSI. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set it. So in order to set it, I just take it, push the plus sign. Now it shows 40 PSI. There's also different modes on this thing, which is cool. You can kind of hit here. It'll go through the different modes. So you can have it set to different tires for, uh, 
whatever cars you have, which is nice. Let me grab my phone. We're gonna let it go from the 26.5 that it currently is up to the 40 and see how long it takes. All right guys, so here we go. I've got my stopwatch set up. I'm gonna hit the button at the same time and start this and here we go. <laughs> There you go, done. Wow, that's insane. I oh, interesting. Hang on. It's showing 40 PSI now, it is still running. Yeah, we're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off just by holding that button again. Back this off, we are now at 40 PSI. All right guys, so as you saw, it took about two minutes to go from 26 PSI up to 40. Um, they actually advertise, let's see here, what does it say? It says it'll go on an F-150 from 30 PSI to 35 PSI in approximately 40 seconds, or from zero PSI to 35 in about four minutes and 13 seconds. So very, very fast. Now, as I was inflating the tires on my truck, it took a little bit of a pause. And what that is, is the valve uh, may sense, especially you know all these new valves that tell you the tire pressure readings, um, it senses that it may be in increasing too fast, or especially when you just connect it. Um, so it just needs to level that out. It does its little calibration and then fires back up. So no issue there. Um, they do note to not to stop the inflation at that point, because obviously you won't be at the correct reading. You just let it go and then eventually you'll see it recalibrate, go, and then stop when you're all done. Now, a few more cool features on this thing, guys. You actually have a safety light with a couple different modes. So I'm just gonna turn that on. So you have this nice kind of amber light. Hit it again, turns into a standard color light, and then hit it again, and you get a flashing sort of safety light, which is really, really cool. Again, this is just an awesome backup thing when you're, when you're out on the road. Um, to have. Now again, I still use this one all the time. I absolutely love this thing. But a new feature of this thing, because it is a bigger unit, I can actually take, so on the side here, we've got USB-C and USB-A, like a standard USB. One of those you can actually plug into and charge the unit itself if you need to. Um, but you can also take it, plug it in, and then plug in another device and use this as a power bank. If you're out camping, if you're out whatever, doing whatever, out at your kid's soccer game and your cell phone's starting to die, you can plug into this thing. And we can, I'm just gonna plug it into my other Fantech um, uh, inflator here. And as you can see, starting to charge it. Incredibly cool. And then there's also output readings on the unit itself telling you how much power it's consuming, how's your battery level, all that kind of good stuff all in one unit. And it also has a few extra accessories. So if you flip it over to the bottom, right? You have your basic valve. This is gonna be for your car tires, your you know e-bikes, like kind of most things. Then if you open up this little, uh, spot here, you get a Presta valve. So this will just screw in here. I know a lot of road bikes do. So you get that option. You also get just a basic needle. So if you need to inflate um, oh, your basketball, football, whatever else, you get a little needle. And then finally, you get just a little plastic cone as well for, you know, then like beach balls and stuff, I guess you can stick in there and get it to work that way. So really, really cool design. I'm really excited about this thing. Now, personally, guys, I keep this one in my van. Uh, this one I keep in my Porsche because, again, smaller footprint, that thing doesn't have a ton of storage, so it's nice to have this one in there. Plus, on my low profile tires, this one absolutely will work as well. Um, but as I'm out with the family and all that kind of stuff, having the extra ability to charge with this thing, charge my devices, as well as having the lights and stuff is super, super cool. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that helps. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and we will see you on the next one.